and you're looking fine right now, but we are watching you because suddenly we can expect that you're not going to do so well. So what is going to happen when somebody goes, hey, Cameron, you look like crap? I don't know. Um, I, my body weight's not dropping too much. Um, I've been vegan for like two years, and I've always been over 190 pounds. And so I think my body is very well adjusted to being like this. So it's going to take a long time for anything very serious is going to happen. So um, making sure that I get enough potassium in my diet and that I'm sleeping well and I'm not moving around too much. I'm probably sitting in that chair for at least 12 hours a day and I don't walk more than a block away from the bathroom. So conserving my energy pretty well. This is probably the longest that I've talked all day. And uh, it's important to remember my limits. Remember that I am doing this for the long haul and I can't try to run and jump just because I have a burst of energy right now. So, so uh, I saw that there was somebody who was looking at an article. Uh, I think it was the Mercury, I'm not sure. But there was some blogger who was like, that's not a real hunger strike because if he really wanted to go on yeah. a hunger strike, he would just drink water. And, and uh, some other person was like, Okay, you don't even know what a hunger strike is. Uh, blah blah blah, Gandhi and blah blah blah, you know, liquid and 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 posted this article, and it was full of interesting facts. It was, but uh, in some of those facts, people who had gone on extended period hunger strikes uh, that did have, you know, some way of prolonging it, yeah. where they had a little salt, a little sugar, or yeah. you know, they drank juices or yeah. whatever um yeah so there's a group of people who do this some of them last 200 days and then one of them dies so i mean it's not like there's no risk yeah. it's just prolonged suffering and suffering you know i don't know if anybody's ever gone on a diet and smelled food that you can't have just imagine <laughs> if that was all food and we eat in front of you all the time i try to take it elsewhere but you know that happens you're smelling food you're hungry aren't you are you hungry i'm not hungry you're not hungry because yeah. of the juice um during my prep time when i cut out all processed food i was only eating raw fruit and like i was only eating like three piece three or four pieces of fruit every day that's when i was getting hungry that's when i started fighting those urges and so once I started this, you know, it wasn't that big of a transition from, you know, eating no fruit, no fiber, all stuff that. You trained. Yeah. You trained you're, for this. You're, you're, you're supposed to That's prepare. Rad. Yeah, I did my research very well. And I have a small uh, confession to make that response on the blog, that was me. When I gave him articles for him to realize that nice. he has nothing at all oh, about cool. hunger strikes. And a lot of people don't. And it's unfortunate that most people are misinformed about pretty much anything when it comes to civil disobedience or it comes to civil society anything you need to know about politics or government uh, we're a misinformed nation and we like to make a lot of arguments out of uh, initial judgments without actually knowing facts and so, okay okay now i gotta i gotta tell you something i did not know that i did not know that was you i did not <laughs> yeah, set that I, yeah, up okay yeah. all right okay because i feel like yeah. because i didn't know that was you at all okay so that was because I'm, so, so, I'm like oh this is such a great response and i'm like yeah okay that was, that was me <laughs>